Hello, everybody. This is a Lamley Saturday showcase, and this is a special one because we are looking back. And after you see this video, I have homework. Homework for you. Yeah, you, the viewer. As soon as we are done reviewing what we're going to look at today, I need you to go down below into the comments section. Follow that link to lamleygroup.com, and you're going to vote for your favorite, or what you consider the best, Hot Wheels licensed new model, basic new model, in 2017, that's what we are looking at today. We're going to review all of the licensed, mind you, licensed new models, not the, uh, call, some call them generic, some call them unlicensed, some call them original. We're going to look at the licensed new models. That's more along the lines of Lamley. And we're going to pick our favorite. There's already been several, a couple thousand votes, and it's time for the YouTube viewers to go and let their voices heard. Hot Wheels actually looks at these and sees what uh, your favorite models are. And uh, this is your chance to do it. So we're going to start, like I said, these are the licensed new models. We're going to do the basic new models, and then we'll also show you the premium new models. Everything released in 2017. And then, uh, like I said, you go and vote. And please vote. Your, vote. your voice counts. I promise you. They look at this. Okay. We're starting with the first new model. We're going to go through the order of release, more or less. This is the Mustang GT, right? The 2015, I believe. Ford Mustang GT convertible. It was first released in red. I'm going to walk through any recolors that uh, that happened. This is the other recolor. There was red and then there was blue. Like I said, the blue was released a little bit later. I think the red was in the uh, A case. I'm not going to try and remember when all of them were released. So maybe the Mustang is your favorite. This is certainly one of my candidates for best of the year. This is the Fair Lady 2000, also called the Datsun Roadster. This one was designed by June and Mai. We saw two colors here, and one was significant. We saw this yellow, very much a Japanese kind of pale yellow, and then this, what would you call this, aqua color. One of the things that was cool about the uh, second release was this was one of the first models to sport the brand new Steely Basic wheel, which I think was a wonderful addition to the, uh, to the Basic range. Just a gorgeous model. That Steely, and I... My preference is that aqua color, but that is not my choice. We're not voting on specific release like yellow versus aqua, just the casting. Was that the best new casting? Maybe it is. Go and vote if it is. Another new model, the Volkswagen Kafer Racer. This was designed by Mark Jones. You saw that later become the uh, Toy Fair model, and we've seen this in 2018 already as well. Actually, we've seen the Roadster too. Um, in red with this Momo Deco. And then recolored in black. Mark Jones designed this one. I think it's it's a licensed model, but it is one of his original designs. I will say this. Uh, one thing I should probably add, you might notice that the two Fast and Furious Chargers, the, um, the kind of off-road one that jumped out of a plane, and then the other one that was like drove on ice, those are not in here uh, just because they are more movie models. If it was an actual Charger, non-modified... People can argue that point, but so far the readers haven't uh, haven't argued that. I felt like these need to be truly real cars. This is the Fugu Z. This is the 240Z, the custom Datsun, custom Datsun 240Z. Get that right. This is modeled after Sung Kang, speaking of Fast and Furious, his own car that was done. This one was obviously very, very clean and white. We saw this in car culture as well, and the cars and donuts, but we're just going to look at these basics. First in white off of the real model, then recolored in a very cool bright orange with the MC5 wheels there, which look really, really nice. Maybe that one's your favorite. It certainly was a popular one. Next up, the Tesla Model X. This one, plain white. This is also a another new wheel. I don't know what Hot Wheels has dubbed this wheel a saw blade or something like that. Anyway, kind of an underrated model, I think. Some people really don't like it. I like this one better than the Model S that they did. It's a little bit more stock, not 100%, but a little bit more stock. And I like that they just kept it very clean, debuting in white. I see a lot of these Tesla Model Xs in white. I see a lot in blue. I don't know if I've seen any of this color, but this was the recolor. Most of the new models are recolored at least once. In this case, a good number of them. And then later on, some of the later releases were only just one release. So there's the two colors of the model. 
X. Here's one that wasn't recolored. We've seen it in 2018 in a new deco, but this is the Gas Monkey Garage. What is it? A 69 vet? 69 or 68? 68 Corvette. Gas Monkey Garage with that big engine. Another one that was a favorite among the collectors. Oh, and everybody. Everyone was gobbling this one up. In gold. No recolor on that one. Here's another Corvette. This is the Corvette C7Z06, right? We've seen this one released as a convertible in 2018. I think we also saw it released in the then and now in black, but this was the first release in yellow. Love that they did it with black rims, and then they recolored it in red. One theme, I think, with the, as you look at these cars, you can see... There's a lot of, you know, front tempo, rear tempo, a lot of detail trying to make these more and more just, I think, collector friendly, these, uh, these new models. All right. Maybe that Corvette was one of your favorites. Maybe it's this one, the Porsche 934.5, designed by June Amai. He took uh, Rio Asada's 934 casting and just like the actual 934.5, just added a bunch to it to make it a race car. And so it's almost like it's almost like the little model, the Hot Wheels model mirrors the real thing. So first released in white and then released in black with these blue lace wheels. I'm a big fan of the lace wheels, especially on Porsches. Not bad, right? We've seen it in 18 already as a super treasure hunt, but this one is just well, those are just the two colors from 2017. All right, another one. This is the 2000, what do they call on this one? 2016 Ford GT Race. This is an original design. It's based on the Le Mans winner. Rio Asada did it and the Deco is an original Deco approved by Ford. They liked it because it looks very much, it's kind of advertising Ford performance. And then we saw this one. I don't have it on this for this showcase, but we've seen this one in the Forza set is a premium already, kind of loosely based on the uh, Le Mans winner, deco-wise. So first time in blue, then recolored in white, both with the J5 wheel. I like the J5 wheel, especially when used correctly, and it's used right here, I think. I like the blue version better, but the white isn't bad. I think we're just seeing that hit in the D cases in orange, right? Yeah. Okay. They just keep coming. You might be a big JDM fan. You might be a big muscle fan. You might be a big Euro fan. You can see that there is a whole lot. You might be a big VW fan. And this one, I think, is up there. As far as VWs go, this is going to be a fan favorite. It's the VW T2 pickup. First colored in this tan color. And then I love the flatbed on this one. And then recolored in white. I don't know which one I like better. I'm looking forward to future designs on this one. Hopefully we see it in the premium lines. Hopefully we like RLC. Hopefully we see a super treasure hunt. I would love this in car culture. I mean, there's all kinds of things that could be done with this one. I'm a huge fan. And so is so many others. It's not like I'm unique in liking that one, right? Okay. What's a Hot Wheels new model line without a current Camaro? We already have one in 2018, right? But this is the 2017 Camaro ZL1. First colored in red. And then recolored in blue. I really like the color of that blue. So what do we do? We went Ford, then we went VW, then we went Chevy. So let's go Euro again, right? Let's go Mercedes. So this one is significant as well because this is the first Hot Wheels Mercedes to be released since Mattel and Mercedes figured out their differences and got the licensing back. So now we're finally seeing Mercedes in the lineup again, which is super exciting. Matchbox released the 6x6, if you remember. And then Hot Wheels released this one and then one other one. Um, a little bit later, we'll see. So the it was the AMG GT, right? First released in yellow. Loved it in yellow with the um, 
gray Y5 wheels, and now here it is in red. I think we're going to see this one in black in 2018. And also we're seeing the GTS, GT3, I can't remember what it's called. All right. Here's another, I think, fairly significant new model. This is the Nissan GTR. 2017, so it's a newer generation GTR designed by Ryo Asada. I'm trying to stay away from making too many comments on what I like and what I don't like, but if you have seen me feature this one before, you know what my thoughts are on this one. I'm trying to keep it keep the thoughts to myself because it's you guys who are voting, but I think it's pretty obvious what I think of that one in orange and then recolored in gunmetal gray. Front and rear decos on this one. Just beautifully proportioned. Really, really nice. Okay. I think there's only one more that had been recolored. So now we just go to some single releases. This is the Mazda Ripu. Rotary engine pickup is what Ripu stands for. This one was done in a Mad Mike deco. He's a drifter out of New Zealand. You can see uh, they did a Miata this year with him, with his Deco. So he's a big Mazda guy. So this one is based on that Rotang clan. So the Mazda Ripu might be, uh, might be the one you want to vote for. Really nice Japanese pickup. Nice to see another one. Maybe the Pagani Waira. Is it the Waira Roadster? Yeah. I'll say this about this one, a vast improvement over the old one. Front chin makes sense, proportions are right. This one's a real winner, I think. No recolors on these, the Mazda, the Pagani, or the Honda Civic. This is the Civic Type R. And this is the generation previous, right? Isn't there a newer Type R? I can't remember. Really nicely detailed in white. And one of the cool things about this one is that they really went all out in the front and rear. If you skip the back or skip the front on this one, you really lose a lot. And so I'm really happy that they they went with full detail on the front and rear with that red trim. Really, really nice model, the Honda. Here's one that I think is a I think is one of the cooler releases of 2017. I'm not saying best, I'm saying cooler because I don't want to influence you. But the Zamac Custom 67 Pontiac Firebird. This is based on Brand Brendan Vitusky's car. He is a designer for Hot Wheels. He has this exact car. And he was able to create it in Hot Wheels form. And how cool is it in its raw look with its black roundel. Just a beautiful, beautiful model. Brendan, I have a few extra ones. I need to send those to you if you're watching this video. Very, very cool new model. All right, and another one that I know is a fan favorite. Last basic new model of the year in 2017 is the Mazda RX-7, the FD in blue, and another one that gets front and rear tampos, including that detail with the uh, that signature tail-like look. This car is, what, 20-something years old, and it looks like it could, be a, it could have been released today, right? Just a really, really nice version designed by Rio Asada. No, no, no. June of my, sorry, June. And then recolored in red for Kmart. So this one is a little bit more limited release, the Kmart release, but still I figured it was a new model recolor, so I'm including it in this one. So maybe it's the FDRX7 is your favorite of the year. I wouldn't blame you if that's your choice. All right, those are all the basic new models. There were six other new models released in 2017. All from car culture except for one. We'll walk through the car culture first. This is the Fiat 500. This is from the uh, air-cooled version, right? Or air-cooled assortment. You can see how this one would have benefited from front tampos. That will be the case moving forward. And this was the first model to sport 
the tiny four spoke reel riders that we will see on the Japan Historics, right? A couple of the Japan Historic new models. So there's one, that's the Fiat 500. Now this pole for the premium new models, that's a different one. So keep checking back with um, on lamleygroup.com because this pole isn't up yet. Maybe I'll find a way to put it up ASAP. Here's the next one. This is the Porsche, uh, Porsche 962. This was the first one to sport the aero wheels, I believe. This is the new aero reel rider. Car culture has just taken over collecting, hasn't it? New reel riders, all these new castings. It's just been amazing. Porsche 962 race car, Greddy livery. Aero reel riders. Maybe this one is one of your favorite new models. Remember, this will be different than the basic, um, than the basic new models. Oh, we're getting ahead of ourselves. From Modern Classics, the Mercedes. Oh man, I gotta get all of this right on the Mercedes. It is Mercedes-Benz 190E 2.5-16. Call it the Evo. Whatever you wanna call it. I love this one because it was released in plain black. Like the Subaru, it gets the full detail treatment on the front and rear because that's how it looked when it was out. This one is so clean in black. Also sports the new aero wheel. And then two new models in Cars and Donuts, which is the final batch of 2017 in car culture. First is this M1 race car. What a pro car is what they call it, right? BMW pro car. Yeah, BMW M1 pro car. We've seen the M1 before. Here it is is the pro car. It gets the gold rims on it. BMW livery, kind of signature red. Light blue, dark blue livery. Maybe that's your favorite new model. And of course, the Subaru WRX, the Impreza WRX with the rear tampos and the side tampos because they didn't need to do front tampos because they already had the headlights built into the car. This is the bug-eyed Subaru. Very unique look as there it is, wraps, wraps around, wraps around, wraps around and shows you that cool face that it's got. This one is great because they did in blue with the uh, with the gold rims, which is a signature look for the uh, WRX. All right, and the last new model that I'm going to show you today is the Porsche 3, 356 Roadster. This one was, I think, designed a few years ago for Hot Wheels Entertainment, and then it was canned, and now it's back in Hot Wheels Entertainment again, but this time in Forza, in the Forza set. So this is the first showing of the 356 Roadster. That's the only new model that that was uh, that debuted in, at least licensed new model, in the entertainment line or um, pop culture or anything this year. As far as I know, I think most of it was car culture that had the new tools. All right, there you go. What is it going to be? Could it be any of... Well, it's going to be... You're going to go and vote on those basics right now. You just go down below. Get your vote in. I want it. I know that a lot of other people want to see your vote, so let's get that done. And I'll soon soon get the poll up for these six as well. Let's let the world know. Let's let the designers know which ones you like the best, all right? That's your Saturday Showcase. Hope you enjoyed it. We're putting 2017 to bed in the next few days. It's on to 2018. Thanks, everybody. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye.